Hello, guys. Good evening to everyone. Good evening. Good evening. So, can you listen to me clear? Yes. Good. Thanks so much for confirming. Now, guys, welcome to another class, another day, something new to learn. So, um, to, once again, I am going to have my camera off because once again in the place where I live it's raining a lot yes. if I have my camera on that is not going to help me so I'm going to have it off but I do appreciate the ones that have it on que la tienen encendida. thank you so much in my case it's because my internet is not working but thank you very much for those who have it on so uh as usual, guys, today we're going to, uh, well, I am going to ask you questions. Les voy a hacer preguntas regarding to the last topic. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, let me just. All right, so. As usual, as I was telling you, I am going to ask you questions regarding to the previous topic. So, what was yesterday's class about? Who can tell me? Alguien se recuerda de la clase de ayer? Uh, behind. Behind. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. Above. Okay. Under. Mm -hmm. Over. Below. Okay, good. So now we're going to have a practice. Vamos a tener una práctica, as always, como siempre. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Humberto. Good evening to the ones that I just speak. Welcome, guys. Carlos, Joel, welcome. All right. So, good evening. So, you have a question, Humberto? No, solo que. Yes, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Uh, I forgot, se me olvidó eh, enviarte eh, la, la nueva modalidad para poder entrar. So I will send that information to you today, okay? So you don't have... <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. That was, that was my mistake. I forgot that. But okay. I, I will send it to you later. So please remind me, recuérdamelo, so I can send it to you. All right, so guys, uh, I need everyone. Sandra, yes? Uh, it's a message. Good evening, sorry. Good, Good evening. evening. Uh, it's a message. Yes. With Katie. She Katie. Have, um, what does she say? She have uh, her... Yeah. Here, so yes, oh, her daughter, daughter, her Thank daughter. You. daughter, six. Oh, okay, let me just check the, the chat. Oh, and you can can connect it today, okay, Katie. All right, thanks for letting me know, Sandra. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Yes, uh, sometimes I cannot see the chat, guys, so that's why, but I just saw it and it says that her, her daughter got pneumonia or something like that. And she's at the kind of, uh, it's sick, mm -hmm. her, her daughter is sick. So, okay. So welcome to the ones that just connected. I need pen, pencil, and paper. Lapis, lapicero, y papel right now, because we're going to go to the practice. It's raining. Yeah, I understand, Humberto. Okay, so do your best. Trata hacer lo mejor. If you cannot be here, I completely understand, okay? It's okay, don't worry about it. I just saw Benjamin connected. Benjamin, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Giselle. So uh, Giselle, Benjamin, and Edwin Polanco, we are going to have a practice right now. So pen, pencil, and paper ready. Let me know when everyone is ready. Todos están listos? Everyone's ready? Yeah. Yes. All right. Teacher, de hecho, estaba hablando, perdón, que ahorita apenas me acabo de unir. 
Sorry? Apenas me acabo de unir de que estaban hablando anteriormente. Well, no, we're just going to do a practice. Solo vamos a hacer una práctica. So I need okay. you que tengas lápiz, lapicero in your hands, handy a la mano, so you can be ready for the practice. Okay. So yesterday's class, guys, was about what? Was about prepositions, okay? So yesterday we saw prepositions. So what, what I'm going to do, lo que voy a hacer ahorita, is that I am going to... Let's see. Let me just see one second. I am going to tell you, les voy a decir algunas palabras con las prepositions of time, las preposiciones de lugares. For example, les puedo decir un tiempo preciso, les puedo decir un mes, un año, un siglo, una estación, días o fechas. So, Si usted vio la clase grabada o no estuvo ayer en la clase y ya la vio grabada, ya probablemente entendió. Ok. The others, los que estuvieron acá en la clase. So I guess you understood. Pienso que entendieron ya que el día de ayer no hubo muchas preguntas acerca de eso. Entonces, there's no questions. I guess that is clear. So we're going to start. Vamos a hacer 10 cosas. Everyone's ready. Todos listos. Benjamin, you're yes. Well, he's not there, probably. So let's start. Empezamos. If I say three o'clock, lo que necesito es que solamente me escriban la preposición de lugar a la par de lo que les voy a decir, okay? Three o'clock. Oh, preposition of time, I'm sorry. Preposition of time. Three o'clock, I repeat it again. Three o'clock. Three o'clock, repeat it again. Lo repito de nuevo. Solo escriba la preposition of time a la par. Okay. Now, we move on. Nos movemos a... In February. Oh. No, ya les di la respuesta. No, esa no cuenta. I'm sorry. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What happened to me? No, I, I gave you the answer already. So esa no cuenta. Don't put it there. So let's do another. Uh, Monday. 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 Now. We're going to move on to the next one. Pasamos a la siguiente and we go to 1940. 1940. 1940. 1940. 1940. Okay. So now we move on to. see lunch 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 cuando le dicen verdad voy para lunch lunch that's what i'm talking about lunch lunch me escuché bien teacher with lunch, I'm going to put it on the chat. Lo voy a poner en el chat just in case. Lunch. Lunch. About lunch. All right, so we move on to the next one. Pasamos a la siguiente, and that is Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. How many do we have, guys? ¿Cuántas llevamos? How many do we have right now? Five. 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 Okay. Now, 
Ancient, we're going to do things a little bit different. Ser la segunda parte un poco diferente. Now, let's see. I'm going to show you a, les voy a mostrar una en la pantalla y ustedes solo me van a poner las respuestas, ¿ok? Solamente de las primeras cinco. One, two, three, four, five. Solo de las primeras cinco. So one, two, three, four, five. Hasta acá. ¿Ok? Solo las respuestas. Pay attention there. Mm -hmm. Ahí están las instructions, las indicaciones. It says, write the preposition of place. Escriba la preposición de lugar. Take a look, fíjese en el dibujito, and based on that, y basado en eso, haga una suposición, or if you, si ya la sabe, just put it there. Solamente cinco, only five. No es necesario que escriba toda la oración, solo la respuesta, ok? Only the answers. Let me know when you finish. Okay, so now, if you already finished, guys, I already received some photos. I think this is for, you send it to, you send it through, um, through WhatsApp. So I received already uh, Jota Castillo, I don't know who you are, Marielos. Okay. Okay, Jacqueline. Oh, Jonathan Castillo. Okay, good. Thank you. Xiomara. Okay, thank you very much, Xiomara. We are 20 on the call. Somos 20. Alexander. Okay. Edwin Polanco. Okay. Now, okay, I don't know who you are. No sé quién es Martinez con una carita como de diablito. I don't know who you are. So, Elizabeth Rivas, Sandra Molina, Oscar, oh, Carlos Martinez. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. What about the others? Todavía me faltan algunas personas, okay? Thank you, Humberto, I received yours. Okay, so that's gonna be the practice for today. I will stop sharing. So I, I'm expecting the other ones to send theirs. Julissa, I received yours, thank you very much. I'm still missing 
So, uh, teacher, excuse Anna, me. Yes, Jacqueline. Um, yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, no vimos la preposición on in the lugar. Mm -hmm. We did. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, uh, so the preposition on and in, when we talk about place, cuando hablamos de lugar, si se recuerdan, it's pretty similar, es un poco similar, and I'm going to tell you right now. Okay. Uh, for example, if we say in, cuando hablamos de lugar, we're talking about algo que está in. For example, dentro de. Cuando algo está, for example, if we have, si tú tienes tu teléfono dentro de tu cartera, tú puedes decir, I have my cell phone in my purse. Teléfono in my purse. Como dentro de. And I, I will write it here. Lo voy a escribir en el chat so you can have that just in case. Have cell phone. Oh my God, it's not working. Sorry guys, this internet, internet is not working today. I have my cell phone in my purse. Mi teléfono dentro de mi cartera, purse. But you can say, and also, the laptop, laptop is on the table. La laptop está encima de la mesa. So that is going to be the difference between in and on for prepositions of place. Entonces, a, go ahead, Jacqueline, I'm sorry. Entonces se puede, no sé, siento que me confundo con over. Over and on. Over. Okay. Over and on. Some pretty much the same thing. Son similares. For example, we say, ¿Qué dijimos que era over? Encima y literalmente hace contacto con, con la doing, cosa. Yeah, it was over encima de algo. For mm -hmm. this one, for example, on. Generalmente es utilizada sola para aquellas cosas, generalmente para cosas. Like, uh, how can I tell you this easier? Eh, el significado o el uso entre in y over va a ser similar. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Que el, si tú dices over, encima, it's this is on, siempre va a ser encima. So it means, significa que tú puedes utilizar cualquiera de las dos para poder referirte a algo que está encima. There's okay. something, no hay algo específico que vayas a utilizar para uno y para otro. So both have similar ways to, to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, But thank you. Good question, Jacqueline. Thanks for asking. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on, guys, for today's class. Nos vamos a mover a la clase del día de hoy. And today we're going to talk a little bit about adjectives. Vamos a hablar de adjetivos. Have you ever heard, alguna vez han escuchado de adjetivos? Or do you have an idea what an adjective is? Sí, pueden, pueden ser calificativos, eh, adjetivos eh, eh, posesivos. Okay. Okay, so you have an idea, yes. That's pretty much it. Now, today we are going to see some adjectives that we can use in different situations. For example, we're going to see uh, adjectives of based on appearance, adjectives of negative personality, adjectives of positive personality, adjectives of size, Today we're going to see a lot of adjectives. So just let me share the screen with you so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. Can everyone see the screen? Todos pueden ver la pantalla, chicos? Yes. Can you see it? Yes. 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 All right. Good, that's, sure. that's not. Yes? 
Does, any, does anyone have a question? Alguien tiene una pregunta, no? No? No. Yo que alguien estaba diciendo teacher price, so. All right, so just let me, let me double check here because something happened. Uh, something happens here with the, with the internet. When it rains, unfortunately, desafortunadamente, when it rains, internet doesn't want to help us. El internet no le gusta ayudarnos when it's raining a lot. So sometimes we have that problem and that's the problem that I'm having right now. The internet doesn't want to help me right now, but we're gonna do our best. So I understand, um, I understand Humberto, that's okay. I understand it's raining, it's raining. It's okay, so you can, if you're having any situation or something, you can disconnect or something. Yes, here we have. Now, I guess everyone can see the screen. And so we have here adjectives. As you can see today, is our eight class. Es nuestra clase número ocho, chicos. So it means, significa que estamos a la mitad. So in case, uh, well, we're on the half, solo nos queda la otra mitad para poder terminar el módulo. So that's, we don't even fail. Ni siquiera hemos sentido ocho días or eight classes. It's okay, Guadalupe, I understand. Aquellos que tengan mala señal, es entendible, chico, no se preocupe. Si, sí, se entiende, in some parts of El Salvador, it's raining a lot, and that's completely understandable. Here in the place where I live, it's raining a lot, so it's okay. But what I can tell you, para los que no escuchen bien la clase, please try to see, traten de ver la clase grabada on YouTube. T try to do that, so that's, that is going to help you a lot. So... We're going to start. Vamos a empezar, chicos, with the adjectives. First of all, it's important that you know what an adjective is. Vamos a ver qué es un adjetivo. So I will need a volunteer. Necesito un voluntario or someone that can help me. Okay, we're going to start with Benjamin and then we go with Jessica and then we go with Marielos. All right, so Benjamin, help me with the first part. Okay, uh, adjectives are words that give it more information about a noun, a pronoun, and can go on different positions in the sentence. Okay, thank you very much. Now we go with Jessica. Most adjectives can be used in front or in front of a noun. In front of a noun, okay. So what we can see right now is that what it says there, adjectives are going to be things that, little words that are going to help us to describe. Adjetivos nos van a ayudar a describir or they are going to give us more information. Nos van a dar más información about a noun, a pronoun, de un sujeto, or whatever we're talking about. That's basically what an adjective is. Examples, uh, Marielos. Examples, they have a beautiful house. Mm -hmm. with, uh, we saw a very exciting film last night. Okay, this one, Marielos, we don't say so. We say so, S-O. Perdón? We say so, we saw. We saw, okay, we saw a very exciting film last night. Okay, good. So as you can see, the one that we have underlined, el que tenemos, eh, how do we say that in Spanish? Um, underline, um, how do we translate that? Um, well, do you understand the word underline? Si entienden la palabra underline? Uh, it's, bonita? It's, no, it's like this, underline. How do we say that word? Subrayado. Oh, yes, that's right. Subrayado. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Sometimes it's too difficult because I have a lot of things in my mind. Okay. Um, let me respond. So, uh,
All right, so underline, that means subrayado. So the one that we have underlined is basically the adjective. For example, como dice in the instructions, can be used in front of a noun. La posición que va a tener, the position that an adjective is going to have is right before or in front of, antes del sustantivo. For example, yo puedo decir, they have a house beautiful. No, I will always say, they have a beautiful house. Why? Porque el adjetivo está describiendo al noun. Sí, me está dando la información and he's telling me, me está diciendo que es beautiful. Now, here we have, we saw a very exciting film last night. Vimos una película y eh, exciting, how do we say that? Emocionante last night. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's the position that we are going to have with the ad. Now, we have some things that we need to remember. Things to remember. After linking verbs, los verbos de unión, como solo son el verbo to be, el verbo look, y el verbo feel. ¿Alguien tiene una idea? Does any one of you have any idea what the verb look means? What does look mean? Look is verb. Verb? Mm -hmm. de, de mirar. Exactly. En feel, en feel, creo que es sentir. Sentir, exactly. So, those, those three verbs, esos tres verbos, los vamos a llamar linking verbs, verbos de, de vínculo, de vinculación o de unión. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa? Que la posición en estos, with these verbs, La posición del adjective va a ser completamente diferente. ¿Qué quiere decir? After we're going to, we're going to put the, the, the adjective right next to the verb. Lo vamos a poner a la par del verbo. So, si se fijan acá, their house, la casa es el noun. But that, right before that, vamos a poner el linking verb. Y después del verb, vamos a poner El adjective. Their house is beautiful. What does it mean? Que entienden por esa frase. What does it mean? Their house is beautiful. La casa es bonita. Su La casa. casa. Mm. So what does their? ¿Qué significa their? Ya lo vimos, sí. Era, era, como, como era su, su de ellos. Su de su ellos, de exactly. So we say, su casa, la casa de ellos, is beautiful, es bonita. So, pretty much it. Now, that film looks interesting. What do you understand by that? Que la película eh, se mira interesante. Excellent, like that. So remember, what I need you to remember is that cuando tengamos el verb be, el verb to be, el verb o el verb feel, automáticamente la posición, the position of the adjective is going to change a little bit. Va a cambiar un poco. So we need to pay attention to that. Why? Because as you knew, Como pudieron observar en las otras, the adjective, it was completely different or the position of the adjective was different. So we got to pay attention to that so we don't make any mistake. So we're going to move on to the next part. Then here we have another part of some things that we need to remember. We have here the verb to be and some adjectives. When we have the verb to be, we can have the following formula. Podemos tener la siguiente formula. For example, subject, sujeto, verb to be, plus adjective, más un adjetivo. For example, in positive, John is old. What am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo ahí? 
John es viejo. John es o está viejo? Because we know a verb to be significa ser o estar. Good, Humberto. Now, we go with las negatives. ¿Cuál es la fórmula? Subject. Subject. Verb plus to be. be. Yes. Plus. Not. Not. Okay. Plus adjective. Plus the adjective. So we have John is not John. What are we saying? John no John está joven. joven. No está joven. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Oh, no es joven. Either or. Now, podemos hacer preguntas? Yes, we can. How? ¿Cómo hacemos una pregunta? De una hora yo puedo sacar una pregunta. How is that possible? Yes, it is possible. Here we have, he is happy. What are we saying? ¿Qué estás diciendo ahí? Él está feliz. Él está feliz. Right. Now, él es feliz. this o oh, él es feliz. Either or. Now, ¿cómo hacemos la, la oración? Easy. Movemos el verb to be at the beginning, then the pronoun, Then the adjective, and of course, y por supuesto, el question mark, el, el signo de interrogación. So, tenemos la oración, he is happy. Ahora quiero, y le pregunto, ¿es él feliz? Is he happy? So there we have a question then. So how do I answer? ¿Cómo respondo? Short answer, yes, he is. No, he isn't. Okay. Questions, preguntas? No? No, okay. So, oh, was there, you have, yes? Uh, quiere decir que, o sea, estos, estos ejemplos son como eh, frases cortas. Yes, short phrases. Sí, ejemplos con el verbo no. to be. Yes, But that's pretty much it. Now, uh, we have some other examples. Tenemos otros ejemplos acá. And I will need your help. So, Oscar, uh, you will have la primera oración, horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. Then we go with Jessica, number two. Then we go with Humberto, number three. Then we go with Marielos, number four. Then we go with Sandra, number five. Then we go with Julissa, number six. Joel, number seven. And the last one is going to be for, uh, let me see. Who was here? I saw this guy. Oh, he's no longer here. Okay, the last one is going to be for Edwin Polanco. Go ahead, guys. Horizontal, remember. Okay, I am tired. Yo estoy cansado. Tired. 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 Okay. Tired. Good. Thank you so much, Jessica. You are nervous. You are nervous. Okay. Thank you, Humberto. He is tall. He is tall. Great. Number four. Uh, she is happy. She's happy. Thank you. Number five. It is round. It is round. Thank you. Number six. We are cold. We are cold. Correct. Number seven. You are hot. You are hot. Okay. The last one. They are angry. They are angry, okay. Now, when, when we say I am tired, we say estoy cansado, right? You are nervous, estás nervioso. He is tall, what are we saying? Él es, él es alto. Él es alto. She is happy. Ella what está feliz. We? Ella está feliz. It is round, what are we saying? Es redondo. es redondo. Redondo. Correct. We are cold. What are we saying? Estamos fríos. Estamos frío. Con frío. Yeah, we are cold. Estamos frío. Correct. Correct. Now, you are hot. 
Tienes calor. Es, es, estás caliente eh, de calor. Also, también está, es, es una frase idiomática, chicos, utilizada para cuando alguien eh, en Estados Unidos le quieren decir que alguien es, está físicamente atractivo o atractiva. También se le puede decir you're hot, como estás... Eh, estás bonito, estás bonita, estás so on, you know, things like that. Now, they are angry. What are we saying? Estamos enojados. Estamos? Ellos están enojados. Ellos están enojados. Correct, yes. Okay, now we're going to move on. Nos vamos a mover a la lista enorme de adjectives que tenemos. Y déjenme de... Uh, my bag. What happened? Jesus Christ. Okay, here we go. So, let me tell you that. Déjenme decirles que todos estos adjetivos van a ser su tarea para el día lunes. Ok? Para el día lunes, cuando tengamos la práctica, van a tener... Viernes, sábado, domingo y el día lunes venimos con las prácticas de estos adjectives. So, el día de ahora yo no le voy a dar ningún significado. Usted va a ir y va a buscar el significado de cada una de esas palabras y las va a estudiar. On Monday, la práctica que vamos a hacer de repente es que yo voy a decir el el adjetivo en español y usted lo va a escribir en inglés o yo lo digo en inglés y usted me dice el significado en español. We can, we're going to do those things. So please, keep it in mind. Tomele captura. I don't know what you're going to do. Para que tenga, para poderlos estudiar. So now, el día de hoy nos vamos a dedicar más a la pronunciation, a la pronunciación. Ok? So, Since we have a lot, sí. since uh, tenemos varios, we, uh, everyone is going to participate. Todos van a participar. So we start, empezamos. I will repeat it, lo voy a repetir dos veces cada adjective, okay? So pay attention, please. Si usted lo puede repetir ahí en su casa sin necesidad de encender su micrófono, repeat it, repítalo. So you can have an ID. All right, so we start. Attractive, attractive, bold, bold, beautiful, beautiful, chubby, chubby, clean, clean, dazzling, dazzling, drab, drab. Elegant, elegant, fancy, fancy, fit, fit, flabby, flabby, glamorous, glamorous, gorgeous, 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 handsome. Handsome, magnificent, magnificent, muscular, 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 plain, plain, plump, plump, scruffy, scruffy, shapely, shapely. Shapely, skinny, 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 stocky, 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 unkept, 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 unslightly, I'm sorry, unsightly, unsightly, unsightly. Now, do you want me to repeat it again? 
Los voy a repetir una vez más, una tan sola vez cada uno. Attractive, bold, beautiful, chubby, clean, dazzling, drab, elegant, fancy, fit, flabby, glamorous, gorgeous, handsome, magnificent, muscular, plain, plump, scruffy, shapely, skinny, stocky, unkept, unsightly. All right, now, empezamos a escuchar la pronunciación de cada uno de ellos. Volunteers, so far, voluntarios, para empezar con los primeros tres. Yo, profe. Okay, Marielos, we start with you. Perdón. Okay, attractive. Okay. Bald. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Chubby. Okay. Clean. Okay, we stop it there. Yeah. Thank you. We stop there, Marielos. Thank you so much. Now okay. we're gonna move on with Jacqueline. Start with here. Okay. Jacqueline. Okay. Drab. Okay. Elegant. Good. Fancy. Fancy. Fit. Fit. Thank you so much. Now we go with Oscar. Flabby. Okay. Glamorous. Okay. Gorgeous. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. Handsome. Okay. Magnificent. Magnificent. Okay, now we go with Giselle. Muscular. Mm -hmm. Branding. Plain. 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 Plump. Plum, scrum, scruffy, scruffy. Okay, we stop. We stop it there. We go with Edwin Polanco. Shapely, shapely, shapely. Sorry, skinny. Okay, stocky, stocky. Okay, unkempt, unkept, unkept. Mm -hmm. Unsightly. Good. That was good pronunciation. Now, we're going to move on to the part number two. Nos vamos a mover a la parte número dos. And here we have, pay attention, please. We have agreeable, agreeable, agreeable. Ambitious, ambitious brave. Calm, calm, delightful, delightful, eager, eager, faithful, faithful, gentle, gentle, happy, happy, jolly, jolly, kind, kind, lively. Lively, nice, nice, obedient, obedient, polite, polite, proud, proud, silly, silly, thankful, thankful, victorious, Victorious, witty, witty, wonderful, zealous, zealous. Okay, now we start. Empezamos con, let's see, Sandra. Sandra, let's start with you, Sandra. Uh, agreeable. 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 
Ambitious. Ambitious. Brave. Brave. Calm. Calm. Thank you, Adelia. Delightful. Great. Eager. Okay. Faithful. Great. Gentle. Excellent. Sandra, Delia, good pronunciation. Now, Joel. Uh, happy. Mm -hmm. Jolie. Okay. Uh, okay. Kind. Kind. Library. Good. Thank you so much, Joel. We go with you, Lisa. Nice. Okay. Obedient. 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 Sorry. Polite. Okay. Proud. 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 Okay, Jessica, we'll go with you, Jessica. Silly. Okay. Thankful. Great. Victorious. Okay. Uh, witty, creo que era eso. Yes, witty. Okay. Wonderful and still, still low. Still low. Thank you so much. That was good. Now we're going to move on to the others. Nos volvemos a los siguientes. And we have the negative personality. The personalidad negativa. Negative personality. So we have Angry, angry, be wild the red, be wild the red, be wild the red, clumsy, clumsy, defeated, defeated, embarrassed, embarrassed, fierce, fierce, grumpy, Grumpy, helpless, helpless, itchy, itchy, jealous, jealous, lazy, lazy, mysterious, mysterious, nervous, nervous, obnoxious, 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 panicky, panicky, pitiful, pitiful, repulsive, repulsive, scary, scary, thoughtless, 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 con Z, ¿verdad? Thoughtless. Uptight. Uptight. Worried. Worried. Now, we're going to start with you, Humberto. Okay. Angry. Okay. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Be wild. Be wild the red. Okay, the what? The red. Okay. Uh, clumsy. Clumsy, okay. Uh, defeated. Defeated. Defeated, thank you. Thank you, okay. Now we go with uh, Axel. Ruiz. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Em, embarrassed, 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 mm -hmm. fears, fears, okay, grumpy, grumpy, helpless, okay, itchy, okay, good, thank you so much. Now we go with Carlos Rodriguez, okay, jealous. Mm -hmm. 
Lazy. Okay. Mysterious. Okay. Nervous. Nervous, okay. Of nauseous. Of noxious, okay. Now we go. Thank you, Carlos. Daniel Bernal. Pa <coughs> Perdón, excuse me. Mm -hmm. Panic. Panicky. Panicky. Pie food. Pitiful. Pitiful. Mm -hmm. Rep Repulsive. 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 Mm -hmm. Scary. 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 Okay. Now, thank you, mm -hmm. Daniel. No. no, no, it's okay. We stop it there with you and we go with Xiomara. Xiomara Jamilet. Hi, teacher. Hi. Go ahead, Xiomara. Xiomara. Well, we cannot listen to you. It's like weird. It's cutting off. Se está cortando. I don't know. So, Elizabeth, help me, Elizabeth Rivas, please. Elizabeth. Okay. Okay, Elizabeth, go ahead. Hola. Uh, mm -hmm. Uptight. Uptight, okay. Worried. 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 Good. Thank you. Now, vamos a ver si están prestando atención los demás y vamos a preguntarles de los que ya dijimos. Vamos a ver. Um, Carlos Giovanni Cepeda. How do we say this? ¿Cómo decimos este de acá? Hola. Excellent. Now we we'll go with Jonathan Alberto. How do we say this one, Jonathan? No, this one right here. Jonathan Alberto. Glamorous. Okay, glamorous. Good. Now, vamos a ver. Marielos. How do we say this, Marielos? Uh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. Good. How do we say this, Jessica? Delightful. 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 Okay, good. Sandra, how do we say this, Sandra? Magnificent. Good. How do we say this, uh, Jacqueline? Plum. Okay, good. Humberto, how do we say this? Humberto. Uh, hola. Uh, sorry, teacher. Uh, embarrassing. No, this one. Fierce. Fierce. Okay, now. Oh, what... feroz. Uh, I'm sorry. Like feroz. Mm, fierce is como the yeah feroz. Feroz is the mean. Like your fear. Okay. But also. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're going to go to the last part. Nos vamos a ir a la última parte de los adjectives. And now we're going to see the adjectives of size. Los adjetivos de tamaño. So we start. Big. Big. Colossal. Colossal. Fat. Fat. Gigantic, 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 great, great, huge, 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 immense, immense, large, large, 
little, little, mammoth, 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 massive, massive, microscopic, 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 miniature, miniature, petite, petite, honey, honey, scrawny, 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 short, 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 small, small, tall, tall, teeny, teeny, tiny, tiny. Now let's see, can I have a volunteer? I'm going to ask for a volunteer right now. Almost a <laughs> okay. Who said that? Who was first? Me. Okay, go ahead. I don't know who is me, but go ahead. Maria, is that you? Sí. Bill. Okay. okay. Hello, sir. Good. Fat. Okay. Gigantic. Gigantic. Okay, good. We we'll stop there, Marielos. Thank you very much. Now, I don't know if I'm mistaken. Edwin, you said that you want to participate. Great. Mm -hmm. How? Huge. Mm -hmm. Immense. Immense. Okay. Large. Large. Thank you very much. We we'll stop it there. Thank you. Joel, I want to listen to you, Joel. La, a little. Little. Mammoth. 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 Mature. Massive. Massive. Microscope. Microscopy. Good. Someone else? Alguien más? Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Miniature. Miniature. Okay. Petite. Okay. Pony. Pony. Okay. Scrawny. Scrawny. Thank you so much, Sandra. Someone else? Hola. Yes. Go ahead. So, sure. Okay. Ha, hi. No. This no. one right here. Huh? This one right yeah. here. Stay acá. Um. No lo puedes ver? Small. It's small. Tai? Tall. Tai? 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 This one? Tiny? Tiny. Correct. Thank you so much. Now, guys, uh, remember, these adjectives, estos adjetivos, van a quedar para el día lunes, ¿ok? Cuando vengamos el día lunes, la primera cosa que vamos a hacer es escuchar la pronunciación de ustedes, ¿ok? Yo sé que Todos los días les hago um, evaluations, practices, but my purpose, mi propósito es que todos tengan una buena pronunciación al pasar al otro nivel, ¿sí? Para que nadie les vaya a decir, no, esto no es así, esto no es así, ¿sí? Usted ya va a llegar y lo va a saber pronunciar bien. So for Monday, remember that is going to be the homework. Now a question. Para los que están trabajando en la plataforma, ¿han tenido algún problema o ya estamos listos para la sesión del día de mañana? Oh, yes. Una pregunta, eh, teacher, tengo una pregunta. Este, una, vaya, 
se supone que teníamos que finalizar la tercera sección y el yes. examen sería eh, no sé si los que avanzamos hay creo que hay unas ocho secciones o, pre, o, pre, o secciones que son no sé si eso es el examen o, o cómo mm. eso sí no, no lo había entendido no 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 en the exam the exam let me just check I have So in section number three, according to that, la sección número tres, de acuerdo a eso, is the following. Just, I lost it. Believe me, I lost it. No, let me just, oh, here I have it. Okay, according to section number three, con la sección número tres, eh, sí tienen que hacer el examen, el examen que aparece abajo, que aparece como midterm. Sí, tienen que hacerlo, porque ese examen Viene basado en la sección 1 y en la sección 2 para los que están con plataforma, ¿verdad? So, tienen que hacerlo. Uh -huh. So, eh, la Cindy, yes. Eh, yo he hecho el 3 y eh, este, he empezado a hacer el 4. Ok. Eh, pero es más... Es más video, entonces estoy poniendo mucha atención en los videos. Ok. Y los estoy escribiendo y ahorita es la pregunta en el 4.11. Ok. So, uh, if you have a question like that, si tienes una pregunta así, me lo haces saber through, through the text, en algún texto, y so I can help you there. So, Jessica, you have a question? En mi caso, logré completar las cinco secciones. Okay. Pero este de ahí, bueno, por el momento creo que eso es todo, ¿verdad? Yes. If you already okay. finished, si ya lograste completar la plataforma, te pediría que verifiques que arriba te diga que estás como participante. Porque si no te dice como participante y hasta el momento, bueno, el día lunes te voy a pedir que revises si ya te aparece el certificado. Si el certificado no te aparece o no te aparece la opción de reclamar certificado, en ese caso necesito que me lo hagas saber porque hay veces la plataforma no los toma como participantes, sino que los escriben, los inscriben, perdón, como otro tipo. Por eso no les tira el, el diploma. Así que, please, on Monday, you let me know. Me lo haces saber. Ok, perfecto. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you so much. Teacher. Yes. Sí, eh, Mario, por ejemplo, ahorita estoy en, ya en la sección 5, ya la finalicé y estoy en el final exam. Uh -huh. en ese, estoy, en ese, estoy en ese momento. Ok, good, so that's good. Para los que ya terminaron la plataforma y no han tenido ningún problema, ok. Para los que van al día con lo que les pide eh, ingreso corporativo, that's ok. Eh, so remember, si tienen preguntas, I will always be here. Siempre voy a estar acá para ayudarles. So that's going to be all for today. Remember, tomorrow vamos a tener calibración de sus notas y eh, todo lo que se ha hecho durante la semana. So uh, I hope every one of you is doing okay with the exercises and the scores. So that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class. And have a nice weekend. Let's take care okay. of yourselves. And see you on Monday. Nos vemos hasta el lunes, okay? okay. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, Good, Good evening. Bye.